excited? How excited are you? I'm just super excited. I'm ready to ready to get going. How's first base working out for you? Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's a new challenge, so you know, any way I can help the team is the best thing I can do. So, who have you talked to in terms of tutelage to Garrett for that position? Uh, I've talked to Coach Seely. I've talked to Matt Eugle, mm -hmm. former Aggie. Talked to Hunter Melton a little bit, and you know, just just looked online and tried to figure some stuff out from some big leaguers. What's the biggest adjustment? I know you've played third, especially at JUCO, and you've played in the outfield. But what's the biggest adjustment to first? Uh, I don't know. I. I got a lot more time, so that's that's awesome, you know. You just really just got to knock it down. So I'd say my biggest adjustment is just slowing down. I don't have to go fast over there. I can wait for the pitcher to come over and get him the ball. So It's kind of rare for a team to lose six starters, but be able to replace them with so much experience in terms of five senior potential starters out there. How important is that core group of seniors when you're losing so much, so much production from last year? Oh, that core group of seniors is big. I mean, we... I mean, we've got a bunch of guys that got great at bats against great pitching. I mean, it it's we're it's going to be tough to replace them, but you know, having these guys that have at bats and have seen the best pitching in the SEC day in and day out is big time because we can be able to transfer it and relay it to the freshmen and get them going at the speed that we need them at. Leadership role is is something that there wasn't a vacuum with guys, but there was some strong leaders last year. Do you learn from them when it's your turn, or was that something that you're ready and uh, and kind of embrace out of the fall? I mean, you're definitely gonna pick up stuff from older guys because that's just how it is. I mean, transferring in from a junior college, I didn't really know what the Aggie way was. I just kind of knew what I've grown up with and played with in junior college. So learning to do it the Aggie way is definitely awesome to see from those guys. But you definitely somebody's got to step up. So somebody just has to do it, you know, whether it's vocal or just by your actions. What is the Aggie way? <laughs> How would you define it? Uh, the Aggie way is uh, being accountable 24-7. Not that my junior college wasn't accountable, but, I mean, the Aggie way is playing hard every single pitch day in and day out because you can get away with it in junior college. You can't in the SEC. Showing up early too, right? <laughs> exactly. Aggie, Aggie time. You're always on Aggie time, which is, I say, 30 minutes ahead because I just like being early. So. Is it really Aggie slash Childress way? <laughs> definitely. I, I guess you guys could say that. I mean, uh, he's definitely been a, a huge part of this program and really building this program up to what it is right now. So definitely he, he gets a lot of the credit. If you had to narrow it down, is Homan the leader of the team, you think? Uh, vocal leader for sure, yeah. Homan is, he is our energy baby. He just goes and goes and goes. He's like the Energizer Bunny. So he's, uh, he's definitely the vocal leader of the team. How much pitching you have, you think, this year? Pitching, we definitely got pitching. We definitely got hitting. So there's, we're, we're going to surprise a lot of people this year. Just just don't sleep on the Aggies. We're ready. I think these freshmen will be ready, help you positionally? Definitely. These these freshmen, they uh, they hopped in, and they they were so talented coming out of high school that, you know, coming from high school to SEC is a big change. But, I mean, these guys really hopped on it real quick and picked up everything that they needed to.